It is part of the natural physics of water and other fluids to always find their level and remain flat. If disturbed in any way, motion ensues until the flat level is resumed. If dammed up, then released, the nature of all liquids is to quickly flood outwards, taking the easiest course towards finding its new level. If the Earth is an extended flat plane, then this fundamental physical property of fluids finding and remaining level is consistent with experience and common sense. If, however, the Earth is a giant sphere tilted on its vertical axis, spinning through never-ending space, then it follows that truly flat, consistently level surfaces do not exist here. There are rivers which flow east, west, north, and south. That is, rivers are flowing in all directions over the Earth's surface. Now if the Earth were a globe, some of these rivers would be flowing uphill, and others down. Some of these rivers would be flowing uphill, through space at the rate of a hundred miles in five seconds of time, the waters of seas and oceans could not, by any known law, be kept on its surface. Whenever experiments have been tried on the surface of standing water, the surface has always been found to be level. level. To drop the theory which supposes a curved surface to standing water is to acknowledge the facts. If the Earth were a globe, the surface of all standing water would be convex. This is an experimental proof that the Earth is not a globe. There are rivers which flow east, west, north, and south. Some of these rivers would be flowing uphill. 
that I cannot imagine how any human being in his proper senses can believe that the sun is stationary when, with his own eyes, he sees it revolving around the heavens, nor how he can believe that the earth on which he stands is whirling with the speed of lightning around the sun when he feels not the slightest motion. been taught that the moon has no light of its own, but is merely a reflector of the sun's light, that some masons from NASA actually walked on the moon, that some other masons from NASA sent rovers to Mars, that satellites and space stations are incessantly spinning in suspended animation above the Earth. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. For almost 500 years, the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale. By a cosmic fairy tale. We have been taught that a mysterious force called gravity. A magical magnetism responsible for keeping everything from falling or flying off the spinning ball earth is just strong enough to hold people, oceans, and the atmosphere tightly to the surface, but just weak enough to allow bugs, birds, and planes to take off with ease. We have been taught that the ball earth spins at a constant velocity, perfectly dragging the atmosphere along so we cannot feel the slightest bit of motion, wind, or air resistance. They say we cannot feel any of this motion 
because the magical velcro of gravity pulls the atmosphere precisely along and we cannot measure any of this motion because the stars are so incredibly far away for almost 500 years the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale by a cosmic fairy tale for almost 500 years the masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale by a cosmic fairy tale a sphere where people on the other side live with their feet above their heads where rain, snow Masses have been thoroughly deceived by a cosmic fairy tale, by a cosmic fairy tale. For almost 500 years, the masses have been 